Dear aunties, right? Um, your opinion is not relevant. I just thought I would say that to you right now. Your opinion is not relevant. It is not valid to me. Yeah, I said it. Your husband has been abusing you for Lord knows how many years. You don't want to do fuck all about it. You go focus on that. Because clearly, you don't care about the safety of your kids. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you have accepted that you're weird, feel free to stay. And by stay, I mean make sure that you have subscribed and turned on post notifications so you get notified when I upload uh, 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 another video again. All right, cool. So <laughs> gonna take a little break. Uh, I've taken a little break from uh, my usual topics about sex and everything. We will come back. We'll resume on that very soon. Very very soon. Very soon. Um, <laughs> this is another topic. Um, <sighs> this is a topic that grind, that grinds my teeth. Like, <sighs> okay. So this is one of the first video in the series of toxic relationships. So, this one for today is about toxic relatives. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. How was Christmas, by the way? Like, did you enjoy Christmas? Did you enjoy New Year's? Did you enjoy that, like, relatives that they had to go to, but you don't actually particularly like them, but you had to go to that, like, so that you mark the register just to say that you should face? How was that? Hmm. Okay, so, just gonna get straight to it. So, number one thing, okay, I get it, right? Culture comes to play when it comes to doing anything regarding relationships with your relatives, right? Okay, cool, fine, that's fine, okay? But what I don't understand is, and I don't agree with, is people feeling that aunties uncles feeling that you need to exercise your authority to the younger ones and say because of our culture i'm sorry don't be still trying to live like someone that's in zimbabwe right when you're not in fucking zimbabwe okay like you okay have been exposed to a lot more open your mind up a little bit more so trying to live like still someone like sorry for the people that don't understand so now like stop trying to like live like someone still lives in the village that's what i just said but like stop trying to live in like as if you're still in zim it doesn't make sense you're not in zim okay things like people evolve okay in general besides your toxicness people in general evolve right but the issue here comes now when aunties feel in particular it's always aunties okay i can only speak majority on aunties because obviously it's a case of that aunties feel comfortable advising the younger females dear aunties right um your opinion is not relevant I just thought I would say that to you right now. Your opinion is not relevant. It is not valid to me, okay? Unless you had some, I don't know, like a great involvement in raising me or bringing me up. Your opinion, I'm telling you this right now. Your opinion to me, your opinion to me about me is irrelevant. I'm just going to say that right now. It's irrelevant. Don't think that I value your opinion. Don't think I value your advice. Unless I've actually come out right to you and then ask you, then cool. Yeah, likelihood of me taking it, mm, it's about 50-50, right? Because I came out to seek the advice from you. If I didn't and you feel for some reason that you just want to come up to me, and comment on certain things no i didn't ask for it i didn't ask for it go focus on your relationship go focus on your relationship with your kids stop trying to focus on each that's happening with the me i don't affect your daily living boo boo no i do not go focus on your own life and on top of this why we're still on this on the whole mm -hmm. <sighs> not only 
right? It's like, even with like, uh, I can't even say older adult because uh, we just say as it progresses on, it's the whole thing that now people try and do this whole thing like uh, spot the difference between uh, this uh, auntie and uncle's relationship versus this one. Please stop. Like a uh, please uh, stop. Go and focus on the fact that your your husband has been abusing you Lord for knows how many years. Okay? Yeah, I said it. Your husband has been abusing you for Lord knows how many years. You don't want to do fuck all about it. You go and focus on that. Because clearly, you don't care about the safety of your kids. You do not value that. Yes, I understand that getting out of an abusive relationship is a very hard. Believe me, I understand. I get it. Right? But stop trying to be doing all this business where you start gossiping and saying all oh, this, this and that about like, oh, this person, they like, oh, this person, this, this and that, all oh, these things that they're doing for themselves. No, no, no. Like, they're doing that ish to themselves, for themselves. How does that affect you? How does that affect how you live? Please explain to me. How does that affect the way you get through your daily living? How does that affect you? Please explain that to me. How? Like, please like focus on you okay like focus on you you have enough work to do on yourself like believe me majority of you have enough work to do on yourself but you don't want to do that you don't want to address the ish that you have your own ish that you have to do. your own toxicness that you have within your family you now want to like you want to project on somebody else like it's called something there's something called emotional displacement yeah yeah look it up that's what most of you are doing. You think that you're helping the younger generation. You're not. You're taking whatever ish that you have. They've been stifling down for Lord knows how many years. And now you're projecting it on to the younger ones. It's got nothing to do with them. You projecting your ish. Like, stop. Dude, like, it's so awful. The fact that, like, I see this happen. Like, why is it? you have your own shit that you haven't taken accountability for yes even if the other person done you wrong you have your own responsibility you took in whatever that happened whether it was you choosing to stay in a similar situation or you choosing to do a certain thing when you knew you should have done the other thing because that other thing would benefit you take accountability for your actions that you took whether they were positive or negative take accountability for them stop trying to blame one person own your shit okay own that this whole just stop i'm sorry just stop the whole thing of like oh culture 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 the kids moving on to young adults even the teens they're too scared to speak up for themselves because of the fact that oh no it's culture you can't say anything to them but i'm sorry if you are abusing someone verbally now all of a sudden it's a case of that oh no it's culture you can't really speak again. i am sorry auntie you say something rude to me i'm gonna check you i don't care i will check don't i'm sorry like you can't be doing this whole thing yes i understand majority of you like when you were back home right yeah it was a case of that most of these things were not seen as abuse just how recently now it's just cut not even just recent like a few years ago like obviously giving someone a beating has now just been deemed as abuse because yeah we were abused in high schools like in, not in high school in high schools and primary schools we were abused but obviously at that time it wasn't seen as abuse it was seen as a form of discipline of which to be fair there is different levels to discipline but majority of us were abused moving on from this look at who you please be very careful on this one right the people you send your kids to stay over at whether your child is going for a sleepover or it's just a quick babysitting thing like i get it childcare is difficult i get it i believe me I get it. I completely get it. Believe it or not, I do. But be careful who you leave your children with. Okay? Like, be careful. I don't care what age they are. Be careful who you leave your children with. Because the way some people, some relatives are when there's a, a family gathering and stuff, Everyone puts a front. I'm not gonna lie about it. Everyone puts a front. There's this whole thing of like, oh, I need to behave a certain way because this is what's socially acceptable. Uh, I might be trying to do like, for example, some of you might be trying to hide the fact that like, oh, maybe 
you and your husband this and this whatever is going on or you and your wife this and this is whatever is going on you might be in the process of getting a divorce you might be in the process of you potentially trying to seek going through to marriage counseling or whatever but you obviously don't want anybody else to know cool it's not their business they don't need to know right but when it comes to kids right just uh, gauge out if the people you're sending to kids to like, the people you're sending your kids to right if they have the same morals and standards that you hold close to you the way you have brought up your kids to be when you're at home right the things that you expect how you expect your child to be right in terms of like their, them respecting people them being kind and all that stuff that you have instilled in your kids just make sure that the person you're sending your kids to have those same morals because if you see your child right you're sending them to this relative one time okay cool nothing two times okay cool nothing third time your child then all of a sudden you're hearing all oh, your child's been stealing all your child's getting involved into this or oh, now your child the nursery they're biting and doing this and that try and look at what the common denominator is what is it the thing that you have changed so far why is this something that's new now before when your kid was just staying at home, right? Your kid was going nursery and coming back. Your kid was going nursery and coming back. Going nursery and coming back. Or before even your kid was going nursery, your, your child was staying at home with you. Now because you need help with like juggling childcare and everything, your child is now going to stay to that relative and coming back. Your child is going to that relative. You don't know what that relative does in their home. The certain level of comfortability that someone has in their home is completely different to what they would have in their like in your house so they might act one way right in front of you because they know what you like they know what to expect from you they know what you expect and what you want so they will portray that but in their own home they're not going to do that you're not there you're not there why are they now gonna have to keep on putting on the charade of being fake as much even though putting on a charade like a charade of being this type of person takes more energy than you just being yourself they're not gonna do that you are not there you're not there to witness it you're not there to check them you're not there to pull your child away from that situation and prevent them from having uh, having to absorb all that negative toxic energy from them that it ends up resulting in your child acting out a certain way like it might not even be a case of that they've like yeah there's the whole thing of like it's learned behavior they might learn it from the other kids that they're interacting with or again it could be now a case of that there's something that your child has been exposed to and now the child doesn't know how to express it right they're scared culture we come back to culture again they're scared to tell on their auntie because of culture i can't say anything oh my god it's going to destroy oh my god if i say this it could um affect the relationship that they have all oh, this this and that this. now your child is acting out a certain way because they don't know how to deal with whatever they're they exposed to but you don't know that because there's this whole thing that you're still saying that oh no, no 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 it's culture you can't really say anything bad about whatever the other person has said start instilling your kids that if they see something that makes them uncomfortable they need to feel comfortable enough to tell you stop leaving it until the last minute when you start seeing behavioral changes in your child and you're like what the fuck is going on because you didn't want to get involved at the time because you're like oh no, no no it's culture it's culture it's culture fuck culture i'm sorry like there's an extent to where culture should be taken into consideration but when it comes to your child fuck culture i'm sorry take whatever bits from the culture that you feel that like yes your child could value from this but fuck culture i'm sorry another thing this is just like to just a bonus or just like round off the whole thing that aunties are getting feel entitled to comment on um okay i just want to know right i just want to know i get that men and women have to be raised different cool but there's certain things just in general that they should not be raised different on for example speaking up about anything and everything 
that's one thing I feel that it should not it should not be separated to be like oh no no should oh no 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 men should not say shit about anything that they're struggling with women should but then again also at the same time we're like oh no no but women when they're married they shouldn't say shit about anything that's going on in the marriage they should just suffer in silence how double standard are you like the fuck like seriously that's how majority of you people are still in like abusive relationships because of the fact that the whole thing of oh my god i can't do anything i can't say anything because I've had these uh, stupid fucked up morals and they're not even morals, stupid ass standards, right? Put in me, put in my like brainwashed uh, into my brain, gaslighting, a form of gaslighting has been happening some of, like since you were kids uh, to believe that this is how certain things should be. Stop uh, believing in that. It's not helpful. Like, uh, oh my God, like it's... Uh, like, it, it, it just needs to stop. Like, the whole separation of, like, no, women need to be more emotional, guys shouldn't be as emotional. No. Just level the playing field. Level it out. All kids should be allowed to express whatever. Whether they, they, whether they want to cry or they don't, whether they want to be angry, they should be allowed to express whatever they're feeling. Still staying on this, right? Please... I do not understand, all right, I don't have brothers, right? It's just me and my sister. I don't have brothers. So, the part that, 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 that still does my head in, right, when it comes to how kids are raised differently and stuff is the whole thing of, yes, a girl, when it comes to sex, right, you will put more stress on the girl. Yes, of course, because the girl can get pregnant. But why is that like same amount of stress not put on the boy? Because as far as I'm aware, they are also part and parcel of this. They can get someone pregnant. So why is that not a stress? Like it's automatically a case of that. Oh no, no, no let's put the stress on the girl because it's like the girl's the one's gonna have to have all the responsibility of taking care of the child. Like you're automatically instilling the whole single parent mentality, single parent fear in someone by. You don't see it, but you, you're you already doing it. You don't think that's what you're doing, but that is what you're doing. You're already, like, saying to the girls that, oh, yeah, yeah, if you do this, you're automatically going to become a single parent. Yes, of course, there are unfortunate situations where that happens, but then some of you, I go back again, emotional displacement. You're projecting your shit. You're projecting your own fear onto somebody else, and now they're going to absorb that, and that's all they're going to think about. Level the playing field again, level it out, level it out. Yes, our reproductive systems work differently, right? But when it comes to the fact that, oh, um, the girl, we need to be more um, stressing her with the fact that, oh, like you potentially could become pregnant, or you could do this, or you could, oh, or you could, oh. So it's fine then, like your double standards keep carrying on. It's fine, the guy can just go and like dagger, 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 and then get spotted about it. But a girl does it, all of a sudden, oh my god, she's a whore. Zee, who the? My cousin's right there, whatever I'm in the Greek, and my cousin's also has that, so. And what's with this whole shaming people for being single parents on top of it? Like, you instill fear in someone, right? You're already projecting the fact that they could be a potentially a single parent. And then when they become a single parent, it's not out of choice, right? You then start shaming them for being a single parent. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously? Like, how does that make sense to you? You really think that this person was like, oh no, I want to have a child. I want to be on my own and have a child on my own yes there are people that do that right but then likely they will not go through the route of having a kid with someone they've been in a relationship with like i don't under why are you making someone feel so awful about something that like they're gonna have to live through the rest of their life there's so many things that that person is gonna have to go through when that child gets older because that child's gonna have questions but then you feel that you need to put your fucking two senses in for some reason and start doing all this rubbish of like, oh no, how could she do that? Oh, how could your mother have a, how could you allow your child to, F 
Fuck off! Fuck off! I d no. Like, you know what? I'm ending this video in here. That's all I have to say. Debate me in the comments. Say whatever you have to say. I'm done. Hey. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire stick, you can get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right?